guys. Another Wednesday is upon us. Did not check my upload before we started. Looks like we've lost a few frames, but... That's right, it is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> oh, man. Feels like we were just here. All of yesterday. Hey, Dark Breed, how are you today? Ah. Alright, so here's the deal. We're going to go as long as we can today. We're supposed to be getting some pretty nasty storms down here relatively soon. And obviously, in interest of protecting equipment and myself, <laughs> I may have to leave early if things start getting too wild. Hopefully, it'll be okay. But uh, I'll be monitoring the situation. Doing all right. I'm kind of out of it today. I didn't sleep very well last night, and then got up way too early, so I'm just kind of bleh. <laughs> Let's see. One second here. So that one quest in the hinterlands that I keep looking at and going, I don't know what that is. I should look it up. I actually did look it up, and I did remember correctly. That is an herb that we need to take up to that statue. But uh, considering that it is not elf root or spindleweed, we do not have it yet. <laughs> so we can't actually complete that quest yet. No big deal. Okay. Um, let's see what our inventory is at. 40 of 75. Because we kind of cleared it out last time. Going to bed a bit earlier this week and feel loads better for it. Yeah, I uh, made the mistake of taking a nap yesterday after I <laughs> got off the stream. And that really messed me up. My head was hurting, so I was like, I probably need some caffeine. So I had a soda as well. So, yeah. Took me a while to fall asleep. I will not be doing that again tonight. That's for sure. Let's see. So that was just coin. Thank you, Liliana. Several bards will play for her tomorrow night. We will have names soon enough. All right, let's see. Commander Cullen, your men arrived this morning. It's good to see the Inquisition still trust Templars to perform their duties. Once we ensure that Hasmal's circle is stable and that no dangerous items fall into the hands of unsuspecting scavengers, we will join you ourselves. Knight Commander Bryson. Neat. Alright, we got 30 influence. Alright. Anything we can take care of while we are doing this big plot mission. Ooh, spooky. Ah, oh, yeah. Grand Cleric. I had a productive meeting with revered mother Anastasia, who is not seeking the Sunburst throne herself, but does not want Grand Cleric Iona to achieve it. Okay. I don't know why I stopped there, but... <laughs> they are both from Navarra, so I expect there is bad blood. Either way, a few favors spent, and Anastasia has the power to shout Iona down convincingly. Alright. The matter is considered dropped, and the revered mother sent us gifts as an expression of her appreciation. Josephine. Alright, we got some more influence. Dwarf archers coming along now, just needs stuff for specialization. Nice, nice. don't think we have anything else we can do other than uh, gather coin. One 
one second. Let me turn the fan up a little bit. Because it's actually pretty warm in here already. Alright, who wants to gather coin? <laughs> Josephine only takes 45 minutes, so we'll give it to her. How's all the uh, Templar stuff going in your game? Join forces with your new allies to assault the heart of the breach and close it once and for all. So yeah, this will be the end of the game right here, right? We're gonna close the breach. It'll be fine. Job's done. We can all go home. The best of the mages are ready, Harold. Be certain you are prepared for the assault on the breach. Cannot know how you will be affected. It'll be fine, Colin. <laughs> Let's roll. Oh, who do I want to bring along for this? Hmm. I think I want Varric. We haven't seen Cassandra in a while, so we'll bring her along as well. And who do I want as my mage? I'm between Solus and Dorian. I'm thinking probably Dorian. I really should play with Vivian, but I don't want to remember what she has while I'm doing a uh, plot mission. And we'll go ahead and confirm. Cassandra hates mages. Yeah, she is. Uh, she's not pleased with our decision to side with them, but she's respecting it nonetheless. But mostly, she's our best tank. <laughs> she approves of something. It's a real Radiant. nice glow on my hand. Focus past the herald. Let her will draw from you. We did it, right? Everyone go home. You did it. I sure did. I sure did. Nearly all my companions love me. Nearly are the special quest active. Had to be very careful on who. Oh, nice. <laughs>
Solus confirms the heavens are scarred but calm. The breach is sealed. We've reports of lingering rifts, and many questions remain. But this was a victory. Word of your heroism has spread. I didn't do anything. Don't they know I fell into this? Almost literally. Perhaps you're too close to judge. We needed you. We still do. We've yet to discover how the breach came to be. And that is only the most conspicuous of our troubles. Strange days. And more to come. Forces approaching! To arms! What the... We must get to the gate! All right. I knew it was too easy. I forgot to turn in creature research. Ah! Never a dull moment for southerners, is there? Long Watch Guard reporting. It's a massive force, the bulk over the mountain top. Under what banner? None. None? I can't come in unless you open. It's a trap. coming to hurt you. You probably already know. What is this? What's going on? The Templars come to kill you. Templars? Is this the Order's response to our talks with the Mages, attacking blindly? The Red Templars went to the Elder One. You know him? He knows you. You took his Mages. There. But this Elder One... There's our guy. He's very angry that you took his mages. Cullen, give me a plan. Anything. Haven is no fortress. If we are to withstand this monster, we must control the battle. Get out there and hit that force. Use everything you can. Mages, you! You have sanctioned to engage them. That is Samson. He will not make it easy. Inquisition, with the Herald, for your life, for all! Samson, that's a familiar name. Can we have one day without someone trying to invade us? I know, right? Alright, so now we start getting the fun enemies. Best book today, so let's see dragons down as well. Nice. I'm still scared of that dragon in the hinterlands. Well, any dragon, really. Not feeling confident enough to be able to take one. <laughs> Aside from, you know, like the actual mandatory plot ones. He's still hitting me. Okay, that's a helper. And yes, Cole has a big floppy hat. Hang on, let me get all this wool first. Oh god, people have to level up. Hold up. Ah, oh, Varric, you have a point. Ah, I can't do this in combat. Never mind. I keep forgetting that. You could in the other games. Why is everyone just standing right here? I mean, that's a good strategy. I can't get up there now. Wow. There. <laughs> I just clipped through the 
ground and be fine. Speedrun strats. God, can you imagine trying to speedrun this game? Actually, it may not be that difficult. There are a bunch of ways you can clip through walls and stuff in here. Many of which I found accidentally. But for me, it was more of a hindrance than a uh, help, honestly. It's one of those you fall through the world and then there's just absolutely no barrier to stop you. You just kind of keep falling. With the exception of that uh, giant pie with the top hat that was playing music underneath Cullen's office. I still can't get over that. My, <laughs> oh, God. Also, I can't speak right now. So. Okay, there they are. It's like, where's my team? Those guys are not okay. That's backstab. And poison. And I'm hurt. I'm hurting again. on my archer, 31% crit chance. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty wild. I had some crazy numbers like that on Varric in uh, the last game. Became very important to keep him alive. Get him, he loves it. All right, that was less good. We can't face it here. We have to do something. Everyone to the gates. And we'll go ahead and top off. So we have a supply cache right here, Dorian. You're gonna have to live with that scratch. Yeah, I'm finding that I'm enjoying Rogue quite a bit. But I'm also finding that I like Archer a bit better than, uh, you know, the stabby stabs. 
which is unfortunate because I keep uh, <laughs> keep going for daggers on my main character and then end up playing as Sarah or somebody else. Help me with this door. The door is obstructed. Eh. Just grabbing essentials. Won't die for the fool. Okay, there's actually nothing for me to grab in here. Another supply cache. Just make them work for it. Oh, Colin. The villagers will need help to get spiders. All right, so now we're going to try to save as many people as possible here. Yeah, if we could get everybody in that poison cloud, that would just be grand. Red Lyrium, which is great to, you know, just be carrying around and have on our person. Definitely no side effects. Reinforced Defender Armor, very nice. Claws. All right. That sounds neat. Making sure none of those other spots are marked on the map. Don't want to miss anything. That guy's just standing there. Very good. Really glad I uh, helped you out there, bud. Is everyone okay in here? There's nobody in here, so I guess the answer is yes. Yeah, daggers that did 528 damage or something. Solo and Jeez. <laughs> That's nuts. Okay, can I do this now since I'm not technically in uh, combat? Yes, I can. Cassandra's got a couple points.
quick save here. Come on, poison everybody. Probably change my key for uh, evade. Then I might actually use it. That's part of my problem here. Got these little hands. Well, actually, the four is not too bad of a reach. Hear that? Okay. Okay, now we have to actually rescue some people. We're losing people. Okay, great, they're dead. Well, there's loot. I actually think I'm gonna reload that so we can save these people. Hold up. Okay. Letting me hit the prompt on him. That's weird. We're losing people. Okay, he's dead now. That was weird. Could I have jumped through the window? Ah, I see. The loot is on fire. All right, it's fine. Can't save because combat. I hear a voice. you thread I do too apparently jeez
Alright, Bren's good. those two. Geneva is super dead. And so is Adon. Not reloading. Locking the door, come on. Guys, guys. Let me have the loot. Okay, yeah, these guys are super dead. That's great. I'm trying to remember if I saved everybody the first time. Are there any actual consequences to not saving anyone, or do they just get to, uh be replaced by some other person. Replaced. Our okay, position good. is not good. That dragon stole back any time you might have earned us. I've seen an archdemon. I was in the Fade, but it looked like that. I don't care what it looks like. It's got a path for that army. They'll kill everyone in Haven. The Elder One doesn't care about the village. He only wants the Herald. Uh, why? If you know why he wants me, just say it. I don't. He's too loud. It hurts to hear him. He wants to kill you. No one else matters, but he'll crush them. Kill them anyway. I don't like him. You don't like... <laughs> Harold. <laughs> there are no tactics <laughs> to make this survival. Colin. The only thing that slowed them was the avalanche. We could turn the remaining trebuchets, cause one last slide. We're overrun. <laughs> to hit the enemy, we'd bury Haven. We're dying, but we can decide how. Many don't get that choice. Especially this guy. <laughs> yes, that. Chancellor Roderick can help. He wants to say it before he dies. There is a path. You wouldn't know it unless you've made the summer pilgrimage, as I have. The people can escape. She must have shown me. Andraste must have shown me so I can t tell you. What? What are you on about, Roderick? It was whim that I walked the path. I did not mean to start. It was overgrown. Now, with so many in the Conclave dead, to be the only one who remembers... <laughs> I don't know. If this simple memory can save us, it could be more than mere accident. You could be more. What about it, Cullen? Will it work? Possibly. 
if he shows us the path. But what of your escape? Perhaps you will surprise it. Find a way. Inquisition, follow Chancellor Roderick through the Chantry. Move! Herald, if you are meant for this, if the Inquisition is meant for this, I pray for you. They'll load the trebuchets. Keep the Elder One's attention until we're above the tree line. If we are to have a chance, if you are to have a chance, let that thing hear you. Okay. <laughs> if there's one thing I know, it's how to get an asshole's attention. <laughs> Just going to stab the air like this, and if you get hit, it's your own fault. Oh my god, Dorian's getting wrecked. Oh, because he's. Alright, alright, alright. Stop, 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 stop. He's already used all of our potions. That's a great start. <laughs> Bull is in here. <laughs> right? This is why we brought Cassandra. This is exactly why. And it looks like we're gonna be playing as Dorian for this part because he can't be trusted. should have just reloaded honestly but uh, this is the choice I have made to go to that trebuchet. And there are going to be a bunch of guys when we get there. There's a couple. Okay, hello. Hello. 
Go away! Yeah, this isn't great. Cassandra, I bet you draw some aggro, please. Alright, she got that guy. Get up, Eric. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Paralyzing that marksman. That guy's still shooting stuff at me. Oh my god, yeah, that's the guy that hurts. Stop it. Let's, uh, give you a barrier here. Of course, he's immune. Do it, Dorian. Be the hero. Be the hero more. There are guys coming. Ah, uh, not cool. Actually, no, Cassandra's fine. It's just Varric and me. Go wipe. Oh, Mind Blast. Mind Blast is pretty good for running away. Okay, good. Cassandra's keeping him off of us for the time being. Jane Lightning. I want to get any closer unless they start coming after us. Okay. Loot and continue aiming the trebuchet. Oh, this guy's have another level up that I should have hit. Crap. Oh well. Oh, good archers. Doing my sick backflip over there. Hey, lightning. I'm actually going to use this. Protect me, Cassandra! I'm a squishy mage. She's doing fine. She's just got full guard. She's having a great time over there. Give her a barrier for funsies. JK, that was the spell. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. I might actually move those.
half the party's dead, yeah. Actually... Can I hit them both with this, or will I be wasting this? Let's find out. Oh, yeah! Look at that! They have barely any life, but, you know, Merrick's about to get hit again. Ouch! Not good. Yeah, you guys handle him. I'm gonna loot real fast. So, you know, the second that I take over for Cassandra once, uh... Dorian dies. Oh, there's a supply cache here. Are you for real? <laughs> it's fine. We have another couple waves, so, you know. <laughs> that makes things just a little bit easier. Oh, here's our night captain. He's a big boy. He's a being a shock. Oh, Cassandra! Would you? Oh, jeez. I forgot about that. Who would like a barrier? That's an enemy. Lovely. Can't even see where anybody is right now. Tactical camera. Ah, oh, jeez. Nope, nope, nope. Get out of there. Barrett gets the barrier because I can see where he is. Chain lightning. Shepard is down. if I came here a little bit lower level. And I was like, oh yeah, we're level nine. It, it's probably fine. Do not think it would have gone well. You know, because it's going so well right now. We are making it though, so I can't complain too much. Big boy is not actively targeting me, so. Oh god. We just now got him down to half. Alright, have fun, Cassandra. that took actually <laughs> all right big boys down let's grab some loot real quick Josephine's ready to report in <laughs> oh that enhanced amulet of aggression that made for me 
get the supply cache back up. No. <laughs> Wrong thing. Dorian now gets this. Derek, what shall we give to you? Let's, uh, let's also give you poison, honestly. All my rogues have poison now. It's a good time. Cassandra. We'll go ahead and fill that out. Is that everybody? Okay, yeah. All right, here we go. I should have saved after that, but uh, you know, I like to live dangerously. I don't. <laughs> I'm instantly regretting my decision. Guys, we're gonna make it! Ah, yeah! Move! Now! Dragon buddy. Pretender, you toy with forces beyond your ken. No more. Just stop so we can talk. Um. <laughs> Call me a, a pessimist, but I don't think that'll work. Yeah, why, why are you doing this? Let's. See if we can get a good response what out of that. Are you? Why are you doing this? Mortals beg for truth they cannot have. It is beyond what you are, what I was. Know me. Know what you have pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. The will that is Corypheus. You will. That's right, we just need to send Jack Black in there. Yeah! You don't understand the young people! <laughs> oh, that's goofy. <laughs> you will kneel? I will not. I have bad knees, and that will be very painful. You're forcing this fight for no reason! You will resist. You will always resist. It matters not. I am here to anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Herald. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, you stole its purpose. I do not know how you survived, but what marks you as touched, what you flail and rip. I crafted to assault the very heavens. And you use the anchor to undo my work. The gore. <laughs> this 
this was granted by Andraste. Yeah. Let's make him laugh. I never wanted this, take it. Or tell me what it does. Tell me what it does. I don't want to tell him to take it. He's gonna do bad stuff with it. What is this thing meant to do? It is meant to bring certainty where there is none. For you, the certainty that I would always come for it. I once breached the Fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own. To champion Wither to Vintern, correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. <laughs> the anchor is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. I'm a rogue, I don't know how to use a sword. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and god it requires. And you, I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must die. me to fight but that's not why i kept you talking enjoy your victory here's your prize her foot just slips off and she bashes her face into the handle knocks herself out just huh All right. Looks like our frames were dropping during the uh, epic conclusion there. Hope that didn't buffer. <laughs> Rocks fall, everyone dies. <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. That's right. So now I'm in a cave. I might be on Hoth. We'll find out. I can only walk. So we'll take a nice little stroll. Just uh, take in the scenery here. Okay, now I can run. Mark of the Rift, a focus-based ability. Mark of the Rift causes massive damage and can even kill some enemies instantly. 
I totally forgot about this. Mark of the Rift is a focus-based ability. Yes, that's what I hear. <laughs> focus is a resource that is gained each time someone in your party deals damage. Each party member has a personal focus meter, but all party members gain focus when a single member deals damage. Press 1 to use Mark of the Rift. That has replaced my uh, backstab, which is what I was trying to use, but that's fine. Cool. Dreamer rags. Okay, now. Now is when we move things on the hotbar. And let me get my backstab back, please. Blink attack, rather. And well, actually, since, uh, since we just saw it. Got a new little thing to level up here. We get special uh, Inquisitor powers. In addition to sealing and controlling rifts, your mark makes you a leader in the eyes of the people, improving your ability to command the party and help allies work together as a team. So there's that. We weren't supposed to look at that yet, because I am not officially the Inquisitor just yet. I can't go up here. Uh, my focus meter is down here. And yeah, that's all we know so far. This is fine. Guess we will uh, just keep following the lights and head in this general direction because we have a marker on our map. <laughs> Watch out for snowmen. Is that the guy from Ski Free? Getting a little tired. Been out here walking in the blizzard. It's comforting to know that once I collapse, those wolves will find me and have a nice dinner. Snowmobile part in RE6. <laughs> God. I'm so bad at it. I'm so bad at it. We wouldn't have had to do it so many times if I could just live. getting a little bit deeper over here so we are walking like this and we're going uphill just a little bit we're also getting very tired and again I cannot go any faster than this How could you have possibly seen me from around the corner? It's fine. What would you have me tell them? This is what we asked them to do. We 
cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're horrible. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. I have been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow, and with time to doubt, we turn to blame. Infighting may threaten as much as this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where we are, which may be why, despite the numbers he still commands, there is no sign of him. That, or you are believed dead. Or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature, only his effect on us. If they're arguing about what we do next, I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help. Even yours. Perhaps especially yours. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen her return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear. And the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure? What we, perhaps, must come to believe? Oh, we got a lot of options here. I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course. And the dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? You saw Corypheus. What do you think of his claims of assaulting the heavens? Scripture says magisters, to winter servants of false old gods, entered the Fade to reach the Golden City, seat of the Maker. For their crime, they were cast out as darkspawn. Their hubris is why we suffer blight, and why the Maker turned from us. If such is the claim of this Corypheus, he is a monster beyond imagining. All mankind continues to suffer for that sin. If even a shred of it is true, all the more reason Andraste would choose someone to rise against him. Hmm. Corypheus said he found only corruption and emptiness, nothing golden. If he entered that place, it has changed him without and within. The living are not meant to make that journey. Perhaps these are lies he must tell himself, rather than accept that he earned the scorn of the Maker. I know I could not bear such. Mother Giselle, I just don't see how what I believe matters. Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. We can't match that with hope alone. Oh, everyone's upset. How's she getting those kind of acoustics and in here? Is long, and the path is dark. This is probably Look gonna get muted in the VOD. Unless I talk all through it. Let's just enjoy it.
An army needs more than an enemy. It needs a cause. A word. <laughs> yeah, you missed the part where Cullen got to sing, and all I can hear is Starlight Express! Starlight Express! <laughs> more on that after the cutscene. <laughs> a wise woman, worth heeding. Her kind understand the moments that unify a cause. Or fracture it. The orb Corypheus carried. The power he used against you. It is Elf. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the conclave. I do not yet know how Corypheus survived. Nor am I certain how people will react when they learn of the orb's origin. Okay, actually, since we have a moment. So, um... People started looking up other stuff that uh, Cullen's voice actor, Greg Ellis, or Johnny Rees, I forget. His real name is Johnny Rees, but he was going by Greg Ellis, and he changed that, and uh, there was some weirdness that happened a few years back. I, he went missing for a little bit, and I... Anywho. Uh, people found that uh, he was in a production of Starlight Express, and, uh, so around the, uh, fandom people kept leaking the video, <laughs> and oh my god, it's just Cullen singing Starlight Express, and the song that he's singing, they say it about seven or eight times in the first minute, and I'm like, oh my god, that Family Guy joke was only a slight exaggeration. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, Solus, how do you know so much about this thing? All right. What is it and how do you know about it? They were foci, used to channel ancient magics. I have seen such things in the Fade, old memories of older magic. Corypheus may think it of it. His empire's magic was built on the bones of my people. Knowing or not, he risks our alliance. I cannot allow it. This whole mess is confusing. I can see how elves might be an easy target. History would agree. But there are steps we can take to prevent such a distraction. <laughs> I know you like that joke. <laughs> By attacking the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed... changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. It's just me continually trying to jump up the same mountain and sliding back down. Uh, Harold, I think you should go around. There's there a, a path right around. No, no, I can get it. <laughs> there is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. Okay, so we are moving on up. We just gained something. And another thing. Okay. <laughs> we saw it for half a second there. Yeah, we're dropping frames too. Which sucks because this is a big moment.
Ah, everyone's looking at me. Run away. They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corythius. What drew him to you? He is insane, who cares? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, he wants the anchor. He came for this, and now it's useless to him, so he wants me dead. That's it. The anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. My faith is rewarded. Mm. But I'm not your chosen one. I don't want this. Um, we're gonna ask. That just seems like a very arrogant answer. That and if uh, we're appointing a new leader and they immediately say something like that. That's kind of a red flag to me, <laughs> frankly. It's crazy this fortress was abandoned and not covered in snow despite being super far north and the place isn't decrepit. Yeah, right? I mean, there are some holes in the walls, but we can fix those. It's unanimous. You all have that much confidence in me. All of these people have their lives because of you. They will follow. That wasn't the question. I will not lie. Handing this power to anyone is troubling. But I have to believe this is meant to be. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide. Yo, that sword is sick. Oh, God. <laughs> and you just said that. <laughs> Verbatim. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We've spent too much time together. <laughs> uh, I'll do it for my own power. Should I at least be honest about it? I'm kidding. We're stopping Corypheus. Corypheus will never let me live in peace. He made that clear. Yay. He intends to be a god, to rule over us all. Corypheus must be stopped. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, Why does no one have eyebrows? Aside from, like, Cullen. Will you follow? And Josephine. Look at him! Okay, they have eyebrows. Immediately topples under the weight. Again, I use daggers. I don't know what to do with the sword. Aw, Josephine got hype. Yeah. 
movement if you die. Yeah! Wait, what? So <laughs> Throw wave of wave after my own men. <laughs> it began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corythius except that he wanted your mark. You suck, Branigan! We're gonna need a fixing things up montage. Yeah, we are. Corypheus wants to restore Savinta. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Savinta is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, that this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. What if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade? Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've seen no darkspawn other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an archdemon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. Hey, uh, Josephine, we were just fighting darkspawn yesterday. Could he strike at us here? We can't have a repeat of what happened at Haven. Skyhold has the bones to withstand Corypheus. After what you did with one trebuchet, I'd bet against direct attack. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army, an army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. She's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. She can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. Well, then, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. <laughs> okay. Inquisition. A dusty old ruin filled with battered soldiers. If you shut your mouth and open your eyes, you'd see that the Inquisition is our one hope. So, a lot is happening, Foxy. We've got a new home. It's a little messy. Pardon our dust. Uh, oh. Oh. Look at all these things that are just, you know, auto-completing. We found one bed. <laughs> oh, a lot of stuff just opened up for us. And actually, while that's scrolling through, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick and uh, go get some more water. <laughs> and Broomman is singing the uh, gold member song. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back.
Okay. It's starting to get dark outside. Ooh. Dark clouds. Probably start raining here within the next hour. Yay. <laughs> okay. God, what do we do now? Just finally figured out my way around, uh... Haven, and now we are here in Skyhold. I'm gonna be so turned around and lost in here. Good times. If I remember right, that, uh, that pie with the top hat that I was talking about earlier... I want to say it was, like, below the floor over here. So if you can get into that wall... Because I remember being able to see this area from where I was standing. But, you know... Let me update my title here. Alright. So, we have officially arrived at Skyhold. This is our new home. It's gonna be great. So, let's explore. Here's Josephine's new office. I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threat to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. <laughs> Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, uh, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. I don't have a thing to wear. A grand masquerade? I need to go shopping. I'll arrange for an invitation at your discretion, Inquisitor. Cool. Alright. Now we get to start with the Orlesian shenanigans. Oh boy. Here's our little throne here. I don't get to actually sit on it yet. But hey, it's fine. Oh, I can't come in here yet either. Boo. Alright, there's a fast travel point. Let's go visit the Undercroft. Now, what did they make down here? And what can I make? So, this is our new, uh, look, we have storage! Look at that! Sorry, got excited here. Um, deposit. Deposit. Carried all those rings we've been carrying around. Oh. Oh, why wasn't that put on yet? Okay. Hmm. Um. I gonna say 
this is the new uh, crafting area. Got something to read over here. Harden Hightown, Chapter 6. This is actually a very long entry, so I'm not going to be reading that out loud. It's just going to scroll. So Skyhold is pretty neat, um, but as you saw from the map, it's a pretty big place. And it takes a while to run around and look at everything, so... We'll see how long we get stuck in here. And as I've mentioned before, there are a lot of places in here where you can just fall through the floor and fall through the world. It's great. Okay, so you can uh, buy and sell stuff right here at your uh, leisure. You can also tint your armor. That's a new thing. You need to get certain materials to be able to uh, change the color of your armor. You can get special shipments, which is DLC stuff. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, there's a lot of schematics. Oh wait, is it DLC or is it pre-order? I guess there's not really too much of a difference between those two, but... Right. Modify your armor there, modify your weapons there, craft your armor here, craft weapons there. Skyhold customization, upgrade potions, equip potions. Let's talk to Herod. The view is stunning. I've walked away from too many burning buildings for one lifetime. This place, though, it'll be all right. It's inquisitor now, isn't it? That'll take some getting used to. You think it's strange to say. It's stranger to hear. Don't let it go to your head. We need you level. Everyone just got a big hard reason to hate Corypheus. And we already did, but we didn't have a name. You're the surprise, not him. We left in a hurry, but you got into your old place. Save anything? Family ammo. It's as stupid as it sounds. It's good to be back at work. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like having a big opening like that would be discouraged in a world with literal dragons. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be worried about a dragon deciding to come and roost in here, but, you know. How is this place shaping up as a forge? Better than Haven ever could be. Not the way I wanted an upgrade. Forever forward. You've got it all up and running. Your basics, like always. There's space here for... I don't know what. This place was built for something big. It'll be a job to fill it. Yeah, it will. Have you any thoughts about the people we lost at Haven? Shame about a dance. Experience like that, you can't just find. I never understood the name. My fault, probably. The rest of us go on. It's what we have to do. You gave us the chance. Thanks for that. I'll be back later. I'll be here. Alright. Use the workbench and Skyhold's Undercroft to plan out design of the castle. So here's where all the banners and beds and drapery and heraldry and all of this fun stuff comes into play. It's very basic, but we have all kinds of banners. Oh so yeah, you'll recognize that symbol from uh, DA2. This is all just cosmetic stuff. <laughs> yep, 
You have to look at it at least once. There we go. But right now, seeing as most of the place still has, you know, wood just all over the place, I think we'll wait until we rebuild a little bit more before we start hanging up decorations. Let's see, we already spoke to Josephine. She was over there. I cannot go in here yet. Hey, Solus. This is a nice little area. So much room for whatever was here. So yeah, nice, uh, nice plastery walls. Hello. Hi. Uh, tell me about Corypheus. I need to know more about Corypheus. We spoke of this on our travels to Skyhold. What more can I tell you? Cassandra and Varric seem more familiar with their adversary. I respect you. You've given me good counsel before. I could use some now. My apologies, Inquisitor. My poor manner shame me. I claim no secret wisdom, but I will guess as best I can. Will you? Uh, tell me about his orb. Orb. I would like to know more about the orb he carries. As I said, that must be the means by which he created the breach. I suspect the blast that destroyed the conclave was more accident than anything. The result of unlocking power that had sought release for ages. What I cannot understand is how he managed to survive such an explosion. The orb is elven? You said that you believed the orb is elven. I never would have believed that a Vinter Mage could unlock such a powerful relic. Clearly enhances his abilities, giving him access to power he should never have known. Like the power to control the Archdemon. Indirectly, one assumes. Nothing in any law connects my people to the old god dragons who became Archdemons. What do you think Corypheus will do next? You shamed him when you destroyed Haven. Spoiled his glorious victory. It would be worse to acknowledge that you had done so. He must continue on his course or show weakness. He will return to his plans to throw Ole into chaos, and then conquer it for Devinter. You're sure that's what he'll do? As certain as is possible. Assuming I can plausibly predict a man who seeks to rise to godhood. And can you? The key is understanding this. No real god need prove himself. Anyone who tries is mad or liar. His deception will undo him. As it has done countless fools before. Aha. Uh -huh. That's awfully insightful, Solus. Look, he's got a shard on his desk. What can you tell me about the source of Corypheus's power? According to the law, the ancient magistrates of the Vinter received guidance from the old gods. Corypheus commands a false archdemon, a corrupted old god. This suggests he no longer sees himself as their minion. Some of his unique power comes from the corruption of the blood. The rest may come from the orb he carries. Alright, uh, let's learn more about you. I'm interested in what you told me of yourself in your studies. If you have time, I'd like to hear more. You continue to surprise me. Alright, let us talk. Preferably somewhere more interesting than this. Oh god, he's taking me through a loading screen. But we just got here, Solus. This place is very interesting. Why here? Haven is familiar. It will always be important to you. We talked about that already. I sat beside you while you slept, studying the anchor. The 
Thank I'm glad you. someone was watching over me. You were a mystery. You still are. I ran every test I could imagine. Searched the Fade, yet found nothing. Cassandra suspected duplicity. She threatened to have me executed as an apostate if I didn't produce results. Of course she did. Cassandra's like that with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you were never going to wake up? How could you? A mortal sent physically through the Fade. I was frustrated, frightened. The spirits I might have consulted had been driven away by the breach. Although I wished to help, I had no faith in Cassandra, or she in me. I was ready to flee. But you stayed. I did. I told myself, one more attempt to seal the rifts. I tried and failed. No ordinary magic would affect them. I watched the rifts expand and grow, resigned myself to flee, and then... It seems you hold the key to our salvation. You had sealed it with a gesture. And right then, I felt the whole world change. For all our sakes, I'm pleased that you stuck around. As am I. You have fractured rules of man and nature. And you will shatter more before you are done. Yeah, I will. To visit me here. And you, not even a mage. What do you mean? Where do you think we were? This isn't real. That's a matter of debate. Probably best discussed after you... Wake up. Solus, did you drug me? I'm not okay with this. All right. Well, I'm in my room now. And boy, what a room. It is. Who put my hand in a bucket of water? Sarah cackling in distance. <laughs> That's terrible. All right, we got recipes. And we have a wardrobe. So, this is the result of everyone whining about uh, the Inquisitor's pajamas that we've been running around into. Ah, uh, yes. Simple, eternal beige. Hmm. I don't remember what these look like, so let's see. Same design, just a white shirt and darker pants, I guess. Ooh, those are fancy. I actually like that a bit more. Formal wear. Okay. So, we will be uh, journeying to a place called the Winter Palace, not too, uh, not too long from now. And this is the default formal outfit, bright red coats, blue sash. They're alright. And let's see, outerwear. Hmm. Let's 
go with that. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Oh god, okay. Never mind. I'm just gonna be running around in that. Oh. Okay, I thought I was changing individual outfits for, uh... Never mind. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah! Okay. I remember how this works. So these are just a bunch of different outfits then. That's not terrible. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like now. Not as good as I was hoping, honestly. No, the light gloves and boots kind of ruin that for me. That's better. Let's just wear that. <laughs> now that the uh, fashion time is over. I have a bunch of balconies that just... Uh, Give you this fantastic view here. Don't lean too far. Oh, I guess I'll just land down there. That's okay. They have Slightly okay. No Who am I talking to? Oh yeah, and I have a mural up here. To celebrate my uh, grand inquisitorness. There's a ladder. I can actually go up there. That's not the room I thought it was. Hold up. Alright. We've got some uh, casks in here. It's my private reserve. And yeah, I can just hang out up here. This is nice. Alright, climb down the ladder, please. Thank you. I thought I remembered there being a different door. But yeah, that leads back out to the main hall. Look, this has been cleaned up. That was fast. And there's a note just floating over here. Some kind of magic. Instruction report, request a fight. Workers finishing the banner placements are requesting more important tasks. Several wish to train with swords so they can fight, more directly serving the Inquisition. They travel to join a war, not dress up a keep. Can't say I disagree. Foreman Charisse. Our enemy cut a hole in the sky seen everywhere. We look upon it from below, but it need not humble us. We may fight because we are many. We are many because the Inquisitor inspires. The Inquisitor inspires because of her growing legend. Part of this legend is what the masses find on arrival. That is the job of your workers. Not vanity, but veneration. Not impulse, but elevation. Their skills as workers is greater threat to the enemy than their number in half-trained soldiers. Lady Montelier. 
That was a nice way of phrasing no, get back to work. I can sit in the chair, but it's not just for funsies. Something actually happens, and I don't want to do it just yet. So if we go through this door over here... There's another note. And a bed. Someone's uh, hanging out up here. Construction report. Surfacing. Paint, plaster, paint, plaster, tile, plaster, stone. Previous occupants have redressed over and over. Most are solid. Some I would strip down to the stone. The strength of this place is the foundation. Are we here for the long term, or is the Inquisition temporary? Amstel, masonry. Do it right. The Inquisition is only temporary if we fail, and we're not failing the Inquisitor. Sir Morris, quartermaster. <laughs> Very good. And we've got a nice overlook of the courtyard here. Can't walk under the scaffolding. Too dangerous. There is another door over here. Ah, yes. Here is the request. Greetings, dear Inquisitor. I am to serve as assistant to any research concerns. You will find my skills are exceptional. I hope they prove useful. So, this is who we've got now because, uh... Maneve is super dead. You're taking over the duties of Maneve? Yes. A death provided the vacancy. I am told there are many who will miss her. My skills will ensure that you do not miss her ability. You made tranquil. Yes. I am tranquil. It was necessary due to a willful nature that made wielding magic a dangerous endeavor. I remember that being a difficult time, but I cannot remember why. My skills are well used in my current position. Oh, God. How can you serve the Inquisition? I am to aid in the research of all creatures encountered in your efforts as leader of the Inquisition. What makes you particularly qualified? I remember being fond of animals. I don't remember why. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Adequate. Based on a partial improvement to Skyhold. All right. <laughs> As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. So, we have a bunch of research to turn in. I've clicked once. Wait for that first one to go through. And everything else. I just imagine the Inquisitor taking like one thing out of her bag and then being like, no no no, hang on, and then just <laughs> turning the whole thing out on that table. All right, so there's a lot of books in here. There's a lot of reading in here. I shall not be doing most of it. Ugh. There we go. Hey, Fiona. Greetings, Inquisitor. That is your title now, yes? I should thank you. The way things ended in Redcliffe, you could have demanded anything you wished. Yet you chose to make us equal partners. I was not expecting that. You're not equal partners? I, what? Come on, don't be mean. 
after you rebelled for good reason. I'm pleased to hear you say that, Inquisitor. <laughs> I've been a Grey Warden, Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Odd where fate takes you, as you're no doubt well aware. Sorry, getting a phone call from New York. I don't know anybody there. You were once a Grey Warden. Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. Normally one is part of the Order until death. But long ago I found myself stripped of what made me a Warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. So I was sent to the Circle of Magi, the first Warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. <laughs> so, if you'd like to know more about that situation, uh, one of the books covers that. They made me drink so much dark spawn blood, that's right. You sound happy about it. Becoming a Warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters, they felt I had somehow cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever could as a Warden. You mean you began the Mage Rebellion? I pushed for our vote to free the Circles of Magi. But I cannot claim sole responsibility for what followed. Still, despite all the chaos, I would do it again. What happened had to happen. I'm trying to remember what the uh, what the book was called that actually has her story in it. It's not the one I have, that's for sure. Because <laughs> I've been trying to find it. And it's just gone. You're not still the Grand Enchanter, then? Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi. Although some still call me by it. Perhaps the Circles will one day be resurrected. If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after all this? It depends on who the next Divine is, and what she offers. We can't go back to the way things were. But endless warfare benefits no one. That is why I agreed to Justinia's conclave. There must be another solution. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly did the Venatori take control in Redcliffe? Mages constantly found their way to us while we were there. Stragglers, most of them strangers. I had no way of knowing some were actually till winter. They spread whispers, encouraged talk of an alliance, and we were desperate. I'm not proud of our choice, but we were certain Templars were coming. It could have ended far worse. I trust everything is well with the mages. Most are pleased with the Alliance. Even oh, if we God. wonder what will happen next. What was that? <laughs> Just keep zooming in. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Before you go, Inquisitor, a question. Oh, Lord. In Redcliffe, after we left, did you perhaps speak with King Alistair? Considering who you are, he wasn't in the mood to talk. It's just that I knew his father, Marek, back when I was a warden. She sure did. You want me to smooth things over with him? Introduce you? No. It's too late for that. I only wanted to know if he was happy. His father had such hopes for him. Don't mind me, Inquisitor. The concerns of an old woman. Nothing more. Ooh, 
do I say it or not? I will just hint at it. There is a reason that Fiona is concerned for Alistair. Other than just knowing his father. Directly linked to her knowing his father. Okay. The veil. I detest this notion that the veil is some manner of invisible curtain that separates the world of the living from the world of the spirits. Whether it be called the Fade or the Beyond is a matter of racial politics I refuse to indulge in at the moment. There is no this side and that side when it comes to the veil. One cannot think of it as a physical thing or a barrier or even a shimmering wall of holy light. Thank you very much for that image, your perfection. <laughs> Did you clip that chick zooming in? Benevolent bad puppy broke back. That's a link. Ooh. Think of the veil instead as opening one's eyes. Before you opened them, you saw our world as you see it now. Static, solid, unchanging. Now that they are open, you see our world as the spirits see it. Chaotic, ever-changing. A realm where the imagined and the remembered have as much substance as that which is real. More, in fact. A spirit sees everything as defined by will and memory, and this is why they are so very lost when they cross the veil. In our world, imagination has no substance. Objects exist independently of how we remember them or what emotion we associate with them. Mages alone possess the power to change the world with their minds, and perhaps this forms the nature of a demon's attraction to them. Who can say? Regardless, the act of passing through the veil is much more about changing one's perceptions than a physical transition. The veil is an idea, it is the act of transition itself, and it is only the fact that both living beings and spirits find the transition difficult that gives the veil any credence as a physical barrier at all. From a dissertation on the fade as a physical manifestation by Moreno, senior enchanter of the Manrathus Circle of Magi. 6.55 steel. I hate that description of every ethereal world. <laughs> yeah! I'm scared if I stand here that chick's gonna just like fade through me. Uh, anyway, here's Dorian. This is where he hangs out. He's got a nice chair so he can read by the uh, light. Which is great. It's gonna flash punch me. Okay, that bug is back. It's just flying in circles. I think it's like a fruit fly or something. It's not a mosquito, so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, Dorian. <laughs> He's really, sliding about. Isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? You don't need to worry about me. I can keep up. <laughs> yes, I noticed that. Did you know? Certainly. If you were a slack-jawed yokel, you'd already be dead. I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. In Tevinta, they say the Chantry's tales of magisters starting the blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very magisters. A dark spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the blight? You know how it is. Not us. They say Darkspawn were always there. Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. 
But if Corypheus is one of the magisters who entered the Black City and he's Dark's form, what other explanation is there? Uh, you seem upset. Why does that make you angry? Because the Imperium is my home. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. I mean, you didn't. You didn't do anything. Those men did. A thousand years ago. True. Except that one of them is up and walking around right now. Not to mention I have idiot countrymen who would happily follow him down that path again. No one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. You know that, yes? Yeah... Uh, eh. That's not why I'm doing this. Yeah. I knew there was something clever about you. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. Yeah, thanks. Alright, who else can we talk to up here? Who are you? Oh, Inquisitor, greetings. I was recently appointed by Sister Liliana to keep her books in order. I'm so pleased to be here, helping out in my small way. Well, I should get back to work. Do you see that dialogue thing uh, pop up for just a second there? One day I'm going to read all these books. One day, when I have time. Okay. And that's back at the research table. And that's, uh... Charisma. Okay, so I always get super turned around in here. However, we need to go back and talk to Solus because, uh, again, Bro, did you drug me? Sleep well. I've never done anything like that before. Do you regularly talk to people in dreams? No. Consider that one more rule you have effortlessly broken in your rise to power. I had no idea that the anchor would allow you to dream with such focus. It is truly remarkable. But I am reasonably certain we are awake now. And if you wish to discuss anything, I would enjoy talking. Uh, tell me about your journeys. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fane. I would be happy to share it with you. How about some ruins? Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found the ruin of Baron Dur, a lost Devinter city buried deep beneath the dead and barren wasteland. Volcanic ash had sealed it tight. In one dark moment, every living creature in the city seemed they were statues in the ashes, like a mold made to recall the lost. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I met a friendly spirit who observed the dreams of village girls as love first blossomed in their adolescence. With subtlety, she steered them all to village boys with gentle hearts, who would return their love with gentle kindness. The matchmaker, so I called her. That small village never knew its luck. Okay. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fane. I saw a savage human horde go marching toward the battlefront. They sang a soldier's hymn to keep formation. Primal music shook the ground. These savage, unwashed warriors carried harmonies no chantry choirs mastered. Though their cause was all but hopeless, they sang songs that made the spirits weep. Okay, bye. We'll talk later. All right, so he's been a little bit busy since we had that nap. Ba 
in painting just a little bit. We've got some wolves. We've got some evil looking dude. And we've got another evil looking dude. Right on. I'm just gonna pick this thing up on your desk and read it. Request for resources on the Fade. Regarding your request, as a noted partner of the Inquisition, Lady Montillier has ensured our contacts are quick to reply. The few titles on hand accompany this letter with the remaining en route from libraries in Val Royoa and surrounding. Cool. Fade and Spirits Mysterious by Brother Genitivi. Enchanter's Observations by Anonymous. The Unholy Grace, Author Unknown. On Silver Chords by First Enchanter Irving. With some failed The Hedge Mage, collected by First Enchanter Heron. Let's see. Uh, another book by Brother Genitivi. Mostly just looking for names I recognize. Sister Petrine. There are two more pages of titles listed beneath. Right on. Okay, so he's got a lot of books. We can climb up there if there's not really any reason to. Let's go back up this way and see where this takes us. This is where we came in. Okay, never mind. I thought there was another door. Let's go back down then. We haven't even been outside yet. This is nuts. That flashing there is because I need to actually sit on the throne. Construction report, death on the wall. One of our finishers, Garen, fell from the scaffold and landed on a paving stone. He had breath for an for a hour, <laughs> but his eyes were still. He died, and the Chantry sisters wrapped him. What should we do? Yikes. Have them commit his body with those we have lost since Haven. I will record his sacrifice for the Inquisition. Move his fellow workers to another site and allow time off with pay if they request. Ensure that all workers do their jobs safely. We are in a war, not a race. Rushing does no good if we harm ourselves. We are all the Inquisition. Lady Montelier. Word is the courts in Royal are full to bursting. Yeah. No one has time for proper arguments. The land needs yours. Or it's decided on nope. Thursday. That just leads back out there. Hello, Inquisitor. Honored to help with these, whatever they are. Honored Inquisitor, Gotzi Sturhall. Did my part on the walls. Now I'm on this strange collection you've brought us. Don't know its worth to the fight exactly, but it's good workmanship. Okay, so uh, we've been picking up mosaic tiles. He works on them. Any ideas about the origins of these reliefs? To Vinter, early. It's in the tool marks, the grain. That's hard dust mined from the Hundred Pillars, if I know anything. Oh, I suppose the scene is probably full of Tevinter robes, too. The Hundred Pillars? Damnedest things. Massive spires that aren't stone. It's like a mortar. Don't know more than that. Strong, though. Where did you learn your skills? Orzammar. Carved a few statues in my day. And before you ask, yes, I chose to leave. Carved a paragon who turned out to be a sodding madwoman. Couldn't stand looking at her. The memory of a dwarf, right? If I recall correctly, he is speaking of a paragon that we would have met in Origins. Do you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what, you finish one and I'll write it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. All right. Another time. 
best of the vein, Inquisitor. So yeah, the dwarves are super into history. They have all of that stuff recorded. Oh god, we're outside now. Ah! And yeah, so when I finish one of the mosaic... Sorry, I got distracted. When I finish one of the uh, mosaics, he'll write us up a little story about it. Letter to an Inquisition agent. Uh-oh. My darling Wilbur, I am so proud of you. We hear so much about the Inquisition in the village. It makes me happy to know you are doing your part. I am sorry about what happened to Haven. I will light a candle in the Chantry for the Fallen. Please take care of yourself. I know what you're like when things get busy and the fate of the world hangs in the balance. You must take care of yourself before you can help save the world, you know. Don't forget to eat. You're still in the mountains. It must be cold and wet. Why couldn't it be a fort in the hinterlands? Then you'd be closer to home. Well, dress warmly. Shall I send you a blanket? What? Hmm. Anyway, you should write more often. I don't understand why you can't tell me what you're doing. You shouldn't keep secrets from your mother. Love always, mother. P.S. What do you mean I have to address the letters to Rector? Is that what they call you there? Why? Your name is Wilbur Quigley. It's a good name. Wilbur was your uncle's name. He fought in the Battle of Riverdane. We're all so proud of him. Are you ashamed of your given name? Why are you ashamed, Wilbur? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Sigrid. You get a title, I get the boot. I see how it is. I mean, thanks for my life. Please deserve. Excuse you? I saved you from a burning building? Excuse you? No time. Working. Okay. Bride of the Maker, though I am flesh, your light is ever present, and those I have called they remember, and they shall endure. I shall sing with them the chant, and all will know, we are yours, and none will stand before us. Alright, that's from, uh, from the good book. I don't think I saved Segret before. Actually, I can't open that door. I think I will be able to I eventually, though. Even here. This hold has everything. So, yeah, we can do some gardening over here. Grow our own. Oh, no. let's, uh, let's forget how to talk. That's good. We can grow our own herbs here. There, there we go. You know what we're really running low on? Elf fruit. Oh my god, the fly's back. <laughs> okay, go stand on the light bulb. Anyway. Construction report, scaffolding. Third fall in as many days. We need more sandbags. It's almost impossible to drive an anchor between these blocks. The place was built to last, but that makes it a fight to build it up. Alright, it's from our roofer. Approved. The Inquisition needs its people on good legs. Cool. Plant new seed. What should we plant? Let's plant some rare herbs. JK, we can't. Okay, I guess I won't do that. Inquisitor, Elan Vimar. Honored to represent the College of Herbalists and offer my services as apothecary. I intend to carry on the work of my esteemed colleague, Adan. He thought highly of you. You will be missed. Welcome aboard. I look forward to working with you. And I you. I wasn't sure what to think of you people, but recent events have put those doubts to bed. 
All the mundane needs of Skyhold will be well tended. If you note anything special, let me know. I'm here to serve the cause we must. All right. Will you let me grow things? No. I think I can unlock those from the uh, Inquisition perks, actually. We'll find out. Hey, there's Blissa. Let's talk to her before we go talk to Mother Giselle. It's you. Your, your worship. I'm serving now. In a different way. <laughs> Blessing the Pomodoro. So what are you doing? Okay. Ah, Inquisitor. <laughs> you have finally come into your own. Have I? The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. I remember our talk out there before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra, or Leliana, or me for that matter. We are too political, too tied to the Chantry and all its fame. But I did not make you stand against Corotheus. I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. If the power of the Inquisition isn't enough, we're all in a great deal of trouble. It may seem overwhelming now. But you have already done more than most could have. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corythia. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? Can you tell me anything about Corythias? I know nothing of the man personally. But the chant of life speaks of what he claims to be. No matter all their power, their triumphs, the mage lords of the winter were men and doomed to die. Then a voice whispered within their hearts, shall you surrender your power to time like the beasts of the field? You are the lords of the earth. Go forth to claim the empty throne of heaven and the gods. <laughs> Become as gods. That was one of the old gods speaking in their dreams? Yes. You must, as I understand it. In secret, they worked magic upon magic. All their power and all their vanity they turned against the veil, until at last it gave way. That sounds like what happened with the breach. Very similar, Inquisitor. Above them, a river of light. Before them, the throne of heaven waiting. Beneath their feet, the footprints of the Maker. And all around them echoed a vast silence. But when they took a single step toward the empty throne, a great voice cried out, shaking the very foundations of heaven and earth. Corythius said he found only chaos and corruption. The chant of light says that it was beautiful until the Maker himself spoke. And so is the golden city blackened with each step you take in my form. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Corypheus seemed so certain that he heard nothing. He described it as dead whispers. Bitterness, perhaps? He paid a high price for his crimes. Violently were they cast down, for no mortal may walk bodily in the realm of dreams, bearing the mark of their crime. Walking bodily in the realm of dreams is exactly what Corypheus said he did. But the mark? Could it be related to the mark I bear? I cannot say. Perhaps Andraste saw clearly and we misinterpreted her words. It was always taught that the mark they bore was the shape of dark souls. Bodies so maimed and distorted that none should see them and know them for men. That is all I know of your adversary. Some of the Chant of Light describes what we've seen and what Corypheus said, but not all of it. The Chant of Light is the work of mankind. We of all people must accept that mankind is fallible. Listeners may have misheard one of Andraste's songs. 
just one word sung incorrectly could change everything. And how many verses were stricken or changed for foolish political reasons, like the canticle of Chardin? Still, I would trust these words over any spoken by Corypheus. I hope they help you. All right. Again, Mother Giselle is all right. Hey, Thren. Thanks for my life in Haven. You've all sought serving now. If that means change, so be it. Okay. Thren's on board. Let's go upstairs. Oh, the flying thing has landed. It's not a fly, it's a beetle. Just so all of you know. I know you're very worried about it. Okay, this does go somewhere. There we go. Listen to that wind blow. We can go higher. Let's go. Really, nothing to loot over here. And yeah, this is it. This is as high up as we can go. That's my room up there, by the way. my balconies and that's where I would fall down if I jumped off the balcony I think I have to go up there for some reason later on but uh, for right now not really much to do up there Oh god, which way did I come in? Mistakes have been made. Assassin's Creed off it. Yeah, there we go. There's not a cart full of hay down there, though. It won't let me jump. There's Varric. And these will just be, uh, barracks eventually. Oh, there. <laughs> I was like, how do I get over to him? Alright, buddy. What's, uh, what's good? Well, this kind of spoils it, huh? We actually left her pretty much default, um, as you'll recall. However, let's see. I want to change her just a little bit. Oh god, all of that is... Face shape. There we go. I feel like their definition of default hawk in this is not accurate. Like, I feel like this face shape's a little bit better. 
Um, skin tone's really not changing that much. We'll leave that default. Eye color. She had bright blue eyes. Checking all of our options here. I can't even tell what color that is. Can I zoom in? I can't. Oh god. Why do they make it so dark in here? I think that's blue. We'll find out. I do want to change your hair though. Not that long. I don't know why I was expecting there to be uh, new options here. I just don't like that hairstyle on her. I think that's what I usually end up going with. A little bit wild. Just like my hawk. go with that one. Hair color stays the same. Blood swipe is on. Okay. I think that looks a little bit more like her. Alright. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. Her eyes are purple. Mistakes have been made. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Okay, so... If you uh, were here during our DA2 playthrough, you're going to say, wait, what? When did we fight Corypheus? We didn't, because that was a DLC, which I do not have. So yeah, Hawk did get to fight Corypheus. And I actually don't know too much about that DLC, so I don't know what all of that entails. But I think it was another situation where uh, Hawk got involved in something and it was just like, oh my god, what is this? And couldn't really do anything to stop any bad stuff from happening. Because that was pretty much DA2 in a nutshell. <laughs> Unfortunately. Hawk is the uh, tragic hero. Oh, I don't know. You did save the city from a horde of rampaging Kunari. I don't see how that really applies. Or is there a horde of rampaging Kunari I don't know about? There's a Kunari. He almost qualifies as a horde all by himself. Fortunately, he's on our side. So, then, what can I tell you? Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. Ah, oh, her hair is so shiny. If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible, but we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. Ah, yes, Crestwood. I don't want to go there, but we have to. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. 
Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the Lyrian you describe. Hopefully, my friend and the Wardens will know more. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. So let's uh let's chat with Hawk for a little bit. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my sister out of the Sea Watch. Fenris would have killed himself to protect me. I didn't want to give him that chance. Fenris, he's a sweetie. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. Ah, <laughs> oh, Blondie, speaking of, how's, uh, how's he doing? I'd like to know more about Anton. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just Anton. left in him except for this insane need to start a war no one could win you said you thought you killed Corypheus the Grey Wardens had him imprisoned they used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside but he could still reach out and influence the Wardens thoughts he sent them after me and I didn't just think I killed him when the fight was done he was dead on the ground his tie to the blight somehow brought him back, or maybe it's all to Vinter magic, but he was dead, I swear it. And where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. What happened to I that guy? The would save lives and force the divine to divide her forces to come after me. Now <laughs> that out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up and the exalted march never came. <laughs> Hawk, that was <laughs> that was great until I got distracted. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crescent. Oh my God! <laughs> oh man. The NPCs got the zoomies today. Okay, there's an axe in this bed. That's fine. There's a big hole in the ceiling here. Let's see where this pathway goes. Ah, oh, we're out here. Let's continue along the uh, outer edge here. We've just about walked the perimeter. Harden Hightown Chapter 5. And we'll scroll through this. All right. One of these rooms becomes Cullen's office. I want to say it was that room that I was just in a second ago. But I am not 100%. All right, those guys are just hanging out.
Never mind, this is Colin's office. <laughs> Shut me up. Didn't think his uh, stuff would already be, be here, but it is. And you can just uh, climb up here. And this is his bedroom. And this is his bed. We will be in it later. <laughs> cool. Anything else to loot here? Doesn't look like it. But we've just about made our way all the way around, and this is where our grand journey ends. I think I've tried jumping up there before. I don't remember if I can actually do it. I won't be doing it now. We're going to go back through this way. And look, there's Solus. We can access his room from uh, three different directions. Which is great, I guess. And then we just have these random people hanging out. Vivian's hanging out over there. Those Sarah's standards. right there. That'll guide the dragon right in. By the time it's across the glowing legion, that glowing pincushion will be ripe for swords. That easy? We never said it'd be easy, but we win, so it won't come. All right. News from Thetas, Haven destroyed by Darkest Menace. Dire news from the Frostbacks, the Pilgrim Sanctuary of Haven, home to the New Inquisition, has been destroyed. Information is still vague, but some believe a dragon resembling an archdemon was involved in the attack. Fears of a new blight are now beginning to surface. As the Chantry continues to flounder, some are concerned that Haven's destruction may predict the Inquisition's imminent collapse. However, there is yet hope, as reports indicate that the Herald of Andraste and Inquisition leadership survived, and have found refuge elsewhere. Alright, there's the news. Sarah, what's good, honey? So, Inquisitor. It is Inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little baddies I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? Draste, what did I step in? I have apparently been through a lot. But yes, Corypheus was a surprise. No, a surprise would be, oh, I stepped in dog shite. No one says, oh, a Magister God monster, I'm surprised. <laughs> Impossible things aren't surprises. I can't help you if you don't explain what's wrong exactly. It's got to be nonsense, doesn't it? What kind of screwed if it isn't? I mean, that Corypha thing. A Magister, right? Story is, he cracked the Golden City. But that's a hazy dream. If not, Seat of the Maker, real thing. A seat needs a book, so the Maker, real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world, real things. It's too far, innit? I just want to plug the skyhole rubbish so I can go play. <laughs> You joined to help the little people caught up in this. But do you believe, or not? In Andraste? Of course. But you doubt what you're seeing and hearing? It can't be true, true. Even fanatics don't want to be this right. Look, I have arrows. I can make this charisma. She speaks the true, true. Me. I hear you type good it and enough? stop it. Please be good enough. <laughs> 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 Go rude. Keep calling it nonsense. 
That perspective will keep the Inquisition grounded. Oh, I can do that. Sure could use a few more people shouting no. We fight, the bad things go away, everyone calms down, and everything goes back to normal. A nice, well-paid normal. Just follow orders, crazy. <laughs> You're starting to not sound completely crazy. I know, scary, isn't it? So bring them on. But first, food. I'm starving. Oh, same. She just bounced. Oh no, she's over there now. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. It's just about lunchtime. Oh, we've got Blackwall and Vivian. Ah. Uh, I was just gonna talk to Vivian because she was standing there. So yeah, we unlocked a ton of stuff. Let's check out our journal here. Oh dear god. We have a lot to do. Honestly, I'm thinking about streaming tomorrow. We'll see how I feel when I wake up. If I feel okay, and if the internet is uh, cooperating, we'll stream some more of this. Because, oh my god. Now is when the game actually begins. And we have a ton of things to do. Collectibles to grab, people to talk to. Things to fight. I'm sure there are more bears out there. It's gonna be great. Okay, so... Maybe see you guys tomorrow. Uh, if not, Friday for sure. Internet willing. <laughs> Asterisk. Alright. You guys take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. Stay inside. And yeah. We'll be back for more of this.